All right, this ladies and gentlemen is a 2018 Tundra. And we just got back from camping. Uh, so my truck sat at, this is my first day back to work. My truck sat in the parking lot at work all day long in the hot baking sun. Um, when I got back in my truck today and I turned the air conditioner on, I smelled a stench that was so foul. Let's just say, you know, I've been around boys uh, for a lot of years in locker rooms and farting contests and all kinds of stuff. And never have I felt, smelled something so foul. So I knew immediately I've got a dead rodent or something in my truck. So um, I'm starting the hunt. I've got my trusty uh, scope camera, right? So I'm going to use this to kind of uh, look through some of the different areas. Now I can actually, it's kind of dark outside, but if you look over my windshield, um, your air intake is actually under like behind these windshield wipers But I don't want to do anything with that. I want to do the low-hanging fruit first So I'm first actually just gonna pull out open the glove box and I'm gonna look at the air filter and I'm gonna hope that I find something Okay, so if you just pull that little shelf out Then you've got this little door here and it says remove or lift up and remove so I'll lift up and Okay, and then here's my air filter. Now what I'm hoping is that I didn't actually have my air recirc open, or the that gate um, with this button. I hope that I didn't have that gate open. Because if I did, I'm almost certain that, that it doesn't pull in, it doesn't refilter the air. So if I open that, then I've left it, I've made it probably available for the critter to crawl up into like one of these vents because this is where the air recirks from it gets sucked in there goes you know back down into the system gets cooled off again and then back back out of your face so let's pull this so the tab on this side okay so there's my filter oh oh found it you see him found him found him that is a furry critter of some sort. And he, ooh, he's, he is freshly dead. Let's see. I don't want him to fall. How do I get him out of there without? I want him to stay on my filter, but I found him. I found that, that little guy. Okay, at this point, I'm okay with destroying my filter because I am going to replace it anyways. But I don't want to pull this out far enough where I can't. Okay, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put gloves on because I ain't touching that sucker. I'm gonna reach my hand in there and I'm gonna crush the air filter, and then I'm gonna pull them out that way. So, just to use your imagination, this is like a crushable film material. So I'm gonna put my, put my trusty glove on. I'm gonna reach my hand in there. I'm gonna push down. I'm gonna pull the filter out without allowing the mouse to drop one more level. And then I'll, uh, I'll show you a picture of what he looks like. He must have frozen to death or something. That must not have been a fun ride. All right, I'm gonna pause it for a second while I do that. Okay, so there he is. He was on my air filter. So. This was, uh, this fortunately only lasted for about a day, but he's still kind of soft. You can tell he's just starting to rot. So we got him. So now I'm just going to replace the air filter. I'm going to get some disinfectant sprayed in there and kind of get everything cleaned out. But uh, I found the problem.